Hi guys, Rob here with Landshapes Construction and Inspections by Rob. Looking at another uh, home savvy trip around our house today. Spring is starting to spring. As you can see, the snow's melting, the sun's out. Makes you wanna get out and check things out around the outside. The weather's finally broken, so now it's time to take a trip around and look at the things that have changed on your house uh, since the fall. Uh, we're looking today at the roof above the house to make sure that none of the shingles have blown off in the storms. We've looked at the fascia on the face of our house. We have a couple loose pieces that uh, look like they've kind of come loose over the uh, winter here and we're gonna have to get up there and repair it. So let's walk around the rest of the house and see what else uh, Mother Nature has thrown our way and we need to fix and repair. Hi guys, back over here by the back side of our house here. Uh, we have a very large tall chimney that's on the back side of our house that faces to the west. Uh, after the end of your season, you want to go ahead and have a look at your chimney to see what kind of problems that you have there. Uh, they can range anything from water penetrations that have come in around the outside of the chimney. Uh, they can actually be seen by, if you look at a chimney, the bricks in the corner around the edge of it, they show like a little bit of a whitish, chalky residue on them. They call that efflorence. That's the sign that water at one time has penetrated into that masonry. Uh, we had a leak on our chimney a long time ago, so this is kind of a uh, preview of what something looks like after a long period of time. Uh, we also had an old steel cast iron well pipe on the top, and you can see the rust stains on the outside of the uh, chimney there. Uh, with that being said, uh, you want to look for any abnormal cracks. You want to see if there's any deterioration of the bricks or the mortar or anything on the outside there or signs that water is still getting in. If you see any of those signs, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, hire a contractor or if you have experience yourself, you can check the crown of it and see if there's any deterioration of the top of it. Make any repairs, seal it, caulk it, and ready it up for the next year because now is the time to get on to that list of things. So let's go to the other side. Hi guys, here we are on the back side at the bottom of the house here. Uh, this is a good point to go ahead and check your uh, foundations. Uh, any of your gratings and stuff like that along the back of the house. A couple things that we have back here. Uh, one will be the foundation on the back where we have gutters and downspouts that come down to the ground. We know that we have lots of water that kind of runs through that there and can cause settling uh, and changes of things. We've actually got one of our uh, downspout leaders that has come loose. Uh, we'll need to go ahead and resecure that uh, to its point. Make sure it splashes out the way it's supposed to so it doesn't cause any abnormal eroding which can actually cause the foundation settling cracking and things like that so these are the kind of small things that even in our house after a long winter uh, can cause minor problems uh, we also had a lot of snow that we shoveled off the back side of the house and i've also noticed that i've got a little bit of a shifting in my stone pathway that leads up to the back there so we're going to have to probably go ahead and uh, shift a lot of that back together reshim the back side of it and probably some of that stone has settled out from that water running down that back corner. So that's an indication to me that's something that I might have to shore up the back side of it. But again, this is just some of the normal maintenance that happens from year to year. So it's a good idea to get out and walk around the house. Um, got some more things coming up after this, but uh, check in with me. Thanks. Hi guys, back on another corner of our house here looking at uh, a couple different things out here. We have multiple facilities again on our house, uh, some of them being solar panels. Uh, another one is we have outdoor power equipment, which is our standby generator and backup. Now that the winter's over, you're kind of coming into some of your storm summer season. We've had to use our generator once this winter, uh, which automatically comes on and turns the power on for us. Now's a good time to go ahead and uh, check your oils, check all the things that need to be done inside of that. Make sure that there's no extra maintenance that needs to be done on those. Uh, run them if you want to for a little bit, if you know how to do that. Uh, if you don't have this, this won't pertain to you. But again, part of the outdoor power equipment part. Now on the other side of the house here, uh, we also have dryer vents. Um, we don't see those throughout most of the winter because we don't really go outside and visit them. <laughs> Now's a good time to go ahead and check and make sure there's no debris uh, or clogs inside of them. Um, you can check inside of them, make sure the top is open. Make sure there's nothing that's clogged the actual opening itself. Uh, in addition to that, uh, now would be a good time maybe to pull the dryer out and have your 
dryer vent line that comes from the dryer to the actual vent opening to the backside checked, cleaned and swept, vacuumed out, you know, whatever procedure that you're going to go ahead and use on that. They make all kinds of handy tools, brushes, etc., that you can utilize. Just use something that's applicable to what you are cleaning and such. If you don't have any idea how to do this, reach out to your local contractor or somebody that might have the ability to go ahead and do that for you. It'll go ahead and save you energy because your dryer will go ahead and work much better uh, and will keep you from having possible fires or backups uh, in that uh, dryer hose, of course, for you. So again, many things to look like uh, or look at, sorry, on the back side of your house there. Um, but also in addition to that, now you can start to see your shrubbery and your plantings on the outside. Also is a good time to start planning your uh, initial landscaping. This is gonna be coming up very shortly because we'll be rolling our sleeves up, cutting our uh, flower bed edges, rolling our yards. Look at your uh, sidings and so on and so forth on the back side. Uh, prune any shrubs or bushes that are close to the edge of that to get good ventilation for the uh, springtime and during the summer once everything starts to get into full bloom and coverage uh, again you can see we've got a little bit of growth up against the back side of ours there so we'll have a little trimming and pruning to do we'll cover that in another segment sometime but uh, again just little things to look like and look at as you're on the outside of your house hi guys back here again now we're on the other side of the house here looking at the back side of our roof uh, we have solar panels on our roof that cover up a large portion of the back side uh, but as some of you may remember, we were actually up there this last winter uh, shoveling off a very tall snow pile, maybe about this tall, if you all remember. Uh, we noticed that there are a couple pieces of shingles that were on the ground in the snow piles as things are starting to melt. So that's a sign that when the roof was shoveled off, there was probably some damage that happened to the actual roof. Unfortunately, that's regular maintenance that needs to be done to your house. And again, I know that they're there, so that tells me that I'm going to have to get up on the roof do some fixing and repairing. Uh, if you're not accustomed to being on top of roofs, you're gonna wanna hire a professional to go ahead and do that part too for you. Have them take a walk around, check for leaks, get it all prepped up for the next year. It'd be sad to find a leak in the middle of the winter time when you could have had time this summer uh, to take care of it when the weather was nice. So here's to being home savvy. Thanks for walking around our house. And again, make yourself a really nice list of things that need to be done.